Reference marking or uh, RTLs by upper limb before that I'm going to tell you some measurements uh, which use in the points like a 1 cm apart, 2 cm apart, 5 cm apart and 10 cm apart. So first of all this apex, this vertex of the index finger is about 1 cm in every human being then from, from apex to the first, first interfinial joint it's about 1.5 cm almost 1.5 cm from apex to the first interfinial joint. From apex to the second interfinial joint it's about uh, uh, 5 cm uh, we can say that completely 5 cm in every human being. Then from apex to the middle of this line uh, this line you can see from apex to the end middle of this uh, our palm is about 10 centimeters so you deal so you, you will deal about uh, um, for one centimeter uh, two centimeter five centimeter or ten centimeter so we are doing the surface marking of rts by the upper limb so you first of all the subject should be in uh, first subject arm upper limb should be in this position then we start from the auxiliary artery so first of all uh, first of all we uh, can record the <coughs> clavicle this is the clavicle so midpoint of the clavicle is this point this is the first point of the axillary artery and lateral wall of the axilla this is the lateral wall of the axilla this is the second point of the axillary artery so from the mid clavicle this is the clavicle of the patient so this is mid clavicle to the uh, lateral wall of the axilla this is this is, uh, this is our axillary artery this is our axillary artery this is the course of surface marking of the axillary artery then <coughs> we will deal with the brachial artery now to the lateral wall of the axilla the first point of the brachial artery this is the first point of the brachial artery and the brachial artery runs up to the head of the radius I slightly bend and flex the upper limb so this is the uh, tendon of the brachia, bicep brachialis so middle to the bicep brachialis is the second point of the brachial artery and this is the course of the brachial artery so axillary artery first point second point then the brachial artery first point and second point now the, you know that the brachial artery uh, divided into the radial artery and the ulnar artery so first of all we did the radial, radial artery so as the brachial artery and to the middle to the bicep brachial tendon this is the first part of the radial artery so this is the first part of the radial artery then <clears throat> at this point at the wrist at this point the wrist uh, we, uh, lateral to the flexor carpi radialis and middle to the radius um, um, bone this is the second point of the radial artery so this is the core with, with the later convoluted this is this is the course of the radial artery so this is the course of the radial artery in the forearm then we talk about the uh, uh, course of radial artery in the hand now you know that the at the at the stellate process the point one is the stellate person and point two is the uh, inter <coughs> metacarpal pharyngeal space this is the course of the radial artery in the hand the point one at the, at the stellate person and point two the intermetacarpophangeal inter, inter, uh, space then we talk about the ulnar artery so the first point of ulnar artery is like same with, with, with the brachial artery and in the middle to the uh, bicep brachial and head of the radius so now we divide the forearm into two parts like this is the this is the uh, upper uh, two hundred is the lower one third so at this point with this point the upper one third and the upper two hundred and lower one third this is the course of ulnar artery uh, up to this then at this point this is the this is the second point of the ulnar artery is the first point of the ulnar artery and this is the third point of the ulnar artery at the piriform bone so this is the third this is the ulnar artery you know this is the first point second point third point and piriform bone then I when I talk about the superficial palmar arch so this is our hammered bone this is our hammered bone and uh, the first point of the superficial palmar arch is hammered bone the first point and second point of thin arch space the distal thin arch space is a proximal point of thin arch space the distal point of thin arch space so this is our superficial palmar arch this is the superficial palmar arch now we we'll talk about a deep palmar arch the deep palmar arch is that uh, that uh, as i told you this 1.5 centimeter away we took a finger and 1 centimeter away like this point this is the superficial palmar arch you can draw like this so alert arch is from the brachial artery ends at the head of radius middle to the medial um, uh, to the bicep brachial tendon first point of the ulnar artery and the second point we divide the forearm into the distal 200 proximal one third so this is our uh, second point of the ulnar artery and at the piriform bone this is the third part of the, this is the third part of the ulnar artery so this is our ulnar artery course Super surface marking. Then the, this is superficial palmar arch. The first point is the hammered bone. And the second point is the tenaceous mass distal end. This is the superficial palmar arch. And 1.5 centimeter away is the distal palmar arch. Thank you so much.